Okay, then we will move to um, item six, old business. And first up is our strategic planning update. I do believe I sent you an email last mm -hmm. Friday or so um, and sent one out to all the staff members. Um, last Thursday, survey question one was completed. Um, there were 134 staff members who responded, 80 community members, and there were six paper copies that were either mailed in or we faxed in. So 220 responses to the survey. Um, they were compiled, and survey number two went live Saturday afternoon, Saturday, I think it was after three, Ryan Brookman got the two links. Uh, it's back up on our website, so anyone who's watching the broadcast or anyone who's uh, uh, interested in participating, they can go onto the website and click on the survey response, and now there's two, it's down to two questions. I do have a copy of them if anybody's interested in them. That survey goes from Friday until um, January 22nd, and then we'll be meeting I believe Monday the 25th yes. at, I don't have it memorized, 5.30ish, I think, with, with a light supper for any community member who wants to come in and, and share their comments or concerns. Um, and then Tuesday, I believe it's roughly 3.30 to 5.30 or something along that lines. The, the staff have an opportunity to come in and meet with Dr. Bruce Miles and then from 5.30 until he thanks probably the community and those who want to be involved in the, uh, you know, the Tuesday night evening, probably till 8 o'clock, and then the board will have to hammer out the details, probably from 8 to 9.30ish. So Tuesday uh, would be, again, the, the time for the board to be there, mm -hmm. and like I said, Monday for the community. So um, just to give you an idea, the top Responses for the question, what do you want Toma schools to be known for five years from, are, are from now are listed below. Please select up to four that you want Toma schools, Toma schools to be known for in five years. And your choices are academic excellence, college ready graduates, creating lifelong learners, extracurricular activities slash athletics, healthy fit students, high graduation rate, meeting the needs of all learners, safety, strong teaching staff, and, or supportive environment for students. The second question is, play, uh, please select up to four that the Toma School should consider as priorities. One, and I, when I say one, the first one is basic skills, reading, writing, math. Two, communication with parents slash community. Three, discipline and anti-bullying education. Four, extracurricular activities. Five, high quality teachers. Six, keeping costs reasonable. Seven, practical applications of education, uh, rigorous academic programs, teacher professional de development, or technology. So uh, the second survey should really only take a matter of minutes for people to go in. I hope even if you did not respond to uh, survey one, it, it is open to, again, all staff members and all community members who want to participate. So. Even though we only had 220 in the first survey, I'm hoping we can get to the old more numbers for the survey number two. Well, that sounds very good. Um, we want to thank everyone who has participated to this point, and please feel free to contribute more. We, we want everyone's input that we can get. So um, again, that will be available then until January 22nd. 22nd. Yes. Um, it, is, it is open through January 22nd. It is on the on the district's web page. It's very easy to get mm -hmm. to. Once you go to our web page, you click on either staff staff um, survey or community survey. And like I said, it pick four in the top, first question, four in the second question. Good. Okay. Any other discussion or comments or? 